my lawn is getting pretty long and I want to cut it without any gas. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I've got my lawn here. It's been raining a little bit and the grass is pretty green and a little bit shaggy. So I thought we would cut it. But this time, instead of busting out the gas lawnmower and causing all that fuss, creating all that noise, I thought we would use something a little bit more civilized. And so we're gonna try cutting it with this. This is the Toro. As it says there, most powerful battery in its class, 60 volt flex force, but this is not just the recycler mower here. This is the super recycler. And I saw this and I love my Toro lawnmower so much. Having it electric is the biggest no brainer of all time. No oil changes, no gas, it's quiet, it's light. It's fast, it's powerful, it's effective, but this one, being the super recycler here, seems to be everything that I like, but maybe even better. So, first of all, 50 minute runtime, which is longer than my old mower, which I'm not sure how that works, but that means that I can do my whole lawn on a single charge, even though I have multiple batteries. So, if for some reason it's really thick and it bogs it down and I can't get a full 50 minutes out of it, guess what? I've got my batteries for my other Toro appliances here, and I will just pop that in, it'll keep me going here, but this one looks super cool too. And because, like I said, I have the batteries, I'm in the Toro family, <laughs> they invite me over for Thanksgiving. I thought I would give this one a try, and I am so looking forward to the more power. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get this thing unboxed, set up, and try it out. All right, this is what it comes packaged like. It says Super Recycler right there on the top. This is your leaf collection bag. Looks like we have to put that together. Ooh, there is a lawn blade right here. So I am definitely gonna need that if we wanna trim some grass, but I kinda wonder if there is one already installed there too. So we will see. Looks like everything is generally put together. It looks like we're gonna have to take this arm and move that back, but I think I'm just gonna start cutting away the box and lift this out of here. One thing I will say is my experience with the electric lawnmowers is they are much, much lighter than the gas lawnmowers. So manipulating them, handling them, getting them out of packaging seems to be a lot easier, but let's get it out and set up. All right, got everything unboxed here. So we get the Flex Force charger there, the big boy. We also get the big 60 volt battery. And I love that you can check the battery state right there. Actually, it has a little bit of a charge, but we'll need to charge that up. As I already mentioned, bag and blade. We also get the instruction manual with a couple of those knobs and the key. And then here is the lawnmower before it is assembled. Now, one thing I wanna check is see if there's actually a blade installed because that would be nice if you don't have to do that. So let's just take a look under the skirt here. Hello, miss. And look at that. There's a blade installed and that's what it looks like. We've actually got a really big metal bell right here and a nice blade. So that blade that we get is actually a extra blade. And as you can see, we have some guides up here to kind of force the grass down, which is kind of nice, but pretty awesome. That is the undercarriage of this bad boy. How's your father? So let's put this down. I'm gonna get the battery plugged in and charged up and then we'll assemble this. So I haven't really been as careful as I should have been, but yours will come in varying states already being set up, but I've got to get these posts here for the arms over those posts, one on either side right there. And then I'm going to grab the little knobs and then we will put them on the ends here and spin them on to tighten this down. You don't want to tighten these down yet because you're going to have to move this back. And so what you can see here is we have a little opening here and that little pin is going to go in there. And the way you adjust this is you turn this and the little pin will go in. All right. So you're going to hold this up, turn both of these sides, crank both of these. And now this will go down. You will get it to kind of fall into place, you know, where you want it. And then put these back like that. So the pins will pop back out. And once you have those in, now you can tighten these down. Now this little engagement bar does not seem to be attached. So what you want to do is you want to kind of pivot it forward and get this pin into that second hole right there. So get that in. And then I want to go over here and do the same thing. So I'm going to stretch it up with my muscles. Now what happens is when I pull that back, it'll fit right into this handle here. Nice, comfortable grip. And it will pull on this cable right there, which you can see, which will engage 
the motor down here. Right? So that'll give you blades going. All right, cool. All right, now I want to assemble the grass catcher bag, and you can see we have these little plastic sleeves. They have to go around these bars, and so you are going to have to kind of muscle these on. I have noticed that these can be a little hard to open up to get them around the post, so a little flathead screwdriver might be your friend here, but, you know, you just got to go all the way around. Those little plastic sleeves are all the way around there. So we'll get this on. All right, that is done. You can see those little sleeves are on the bars all the way around. Top here will be this little handle. Let me show you how to put this on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up, this little plastic door here. And on these two sides, what you can see is we have a little slot there and one on this side. And these pins that are sticking out here will slot in there. So they will just fall down in there, as you can see. And now I can just release this. That will cover that up. So now I have it in full regalia here with the bag on so I can actually pick up the leaves if I want, the grass clippings, recycle those. Now, the last thing I wanna show you here is the most important here. This is where you will start the bad boy and the start button comes in the bag itself. You can see the little slot opening right there and you'll have to look down here and I can feel it right on this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that in just like that. Now that is in and that is our power button. Now it's not gonna do anything right now because I don't have a battery in there. So let me just show you what we've got here. We've got the handle back here with the engagement bar that'll start up the blade. And then this is a comfort bar so you can just push it or pull it back to stop. So you don't actually have to do anything. You can just kind of walk at your own pace. And if it's walking a little too fast for you, it's gonna stop and let you catch up because obviously if this goes to the back, I love this thing. This is really, really slick. Now, the other thing I wanna show you here is that the wheels are like twills. So they're plastic wheels with a little rubber tread. You can see it on this side here. They won't ever go flat or anything because there's no air inside of them. Now to raise this deck or lower it, you're going to push in this lever here and move this. So that's going to raise each wheel. Each wheel has one of these adjustments. So that's how you're going to raise or lower the deck height, get a little closer trim or a little taller trim. And then up here is where we have the lithium battery. And so this compartment right here is the battery will drop in, the ejection button right there. I'm actually kind of surprised that this will run as long as it advertises because there's only one battery. I thought this might actually even require two batteries to run. So you put the battery in there, close this up, and you are ready to go. 60 volt max, Vortec technology. Looks like you've got a couple lights there because who doesn't like mowing in the dark? I certainly do, you know. I certainly do, it's the only time I do it, but man, this is a good looking lawnmower. This thing looks the business. Man, it's kind of got like a fighter jet, stealth fighter front end on there. I don't know, Lamborghini Aventador look. So, oh, if you want the baddest lawnmower on the block, just sitting out there looking all murdered out in stealth, this is the one. Yeah, all right, looks pretty good out here. I might have to go put on a leather jacket and go outside and start mowing. But either way, we got to see if we can pick up some of these leaves that are coming down and they ain't stopping until the trees are naked. Let's go mowing. Even the little door to put the battery in is pretty badass. Ooh, opens up by itself. Yeah, baby. It's like the Bentley of lawnmowers. Let's do this thing. All right, now, before we get going too much here, I want to show you that this is actually set up for recycling, i.e. super recycler, for mulching up the leaves and putting them back into the grass here. And that is because this little piece right here, this little plastic piece, is going to just kind of shoot everything back down onto the ground. Now, you can remove this here. And what I've noticed here is if you flip it over, what you can see is this little tab holding it in. So if you pry it forward, push it forward like that, and then push up on it, now what you should be able to do is get this piece out, and that will open up this door. However, for me, and I don't know about you, but I like recycling all of those clippings back into the ground. This is stuff that is a result of the nutrients getting pulled out of the ground by the trees. And when the trees are done with it, I want it back. I want to put it back into the ground. Recycle it. I mean, why would you get a super recycler lawnmower if you didn't want to recycle? So let's see how this thing, make sure that's in there. Let's see how the super recycler recycles these leaves back into the lawn. All right, let's see if she can pick up some of these leaves here. So I'm going to pull down the bar right here. The instructions are right there. And then hit this button. Fires up. I'm not doing anything with the volume right now because it's running, but it's way quieter than a gas lawnmower. And then if I just push on this, look at that. It'll walk as fast or like right now, very slowly. If I kind of push forward, whoa, there she goes. 
but you won't drag me because if I fall behind, this will just stop. Oh yes, it works at my own pace. All right, let's pick up some of these leaves. So look at that. It is chopping those up. I'll probably go relatively slowly through the leaves just because I want to get as many as I can, but let's just mow, see what she does. All right, first of all, I'm just telling you, I'm not wearing a microphone or anything. This thing is way quieter than your standard lawnmower. And I want to show you here, I want to stop this and pull it back. I'm doing this one-handed because I have the camera in my other hand. And this thing is so light. Pulling it back, I mean, you wouldn't be able to do that that easily with a gas mower. It's just so much lighter and it is chopping up a lot of stuff. So it's really the mulching of all of this leaf and grass material that's making the noise. I mean, the leaf material is all crunchy, right? But the lawnmower is very, very quiet. So, man, that's working a treat. It is sucking up leaves. And you can see here where I did my first pass, there is no leaves. And we're going over the next lane here. Pick up some more of them leaves. Make like a tree and leave. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's going to be a long day. All right. Look at that, man. It's like I'm vacuuming my lawn. It's so clear and leafless over there. Nice and green. Making all the neighbors green with envy because they have these loud, obnoxious lawnmowers. Not these quiet electric ones. These newfangled ones. I mean, I'd say this is the Tesla of lawnmowers, but it really kind of is. All right, so these are the leaves on the lawn that has not been super recycled. And this is where I have run over it with the recycler. Now, keep in mind, I did not bag this. This is just mulching it back into the ground. Obviously, you can see those leaf pieces there. And I will say I wasn't going very slowly. So if you really go slowly, you can probably get a few passes on these. But I don't want to be out here all day, all night. And so obviously a pretty big difference right there. You can see where I haven't done them over here. But obviously that is pretty amazing. So I am super stoked about that because that seems to work a treat. If you want to recycle the leaves back in your lawn, then you shouldn't settle for anything less but the Super Recycler. This Toro Personal Pace Battery Powered Cordless Recycler Lawnmower is the best one I have ever had. And I'm super stoked about using it the rest of the season. If you want to pick up this one because it is the biggest, the baddest, the most powerful, the longest running one. <laughs> well, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever things to peter peter von Pey.